What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel guys. We back in Norway. We're checking out another prison here. This was recommended to me. I believe it's Halden prison in Norway. Uh, there was like two or three. I don't, this might be where that one guy was. I want to say the uh, Norwegian officer. I believe this was the prison, but I think we get into like more in detail type of video. This is from the channel Vice, but it's a recap video. So it might be a longer video out there. I might have checked it before a long time ago, maybe. But I know what I've recently did. Uh, I haven't seen too much of Haldum other than just a few. But uh, this was recommended to me inside a seven star prison in Norway where inmates live a luxury life. I always find it interesting because uh, just seeing how Norway does its prison, has its prison system set more of a rehabilitation you know, rather than the punishment, you know, we need them to get better. Do want to know your thoughts on when it comes to harsher crimes. You know, I feel like, you know, people can get better and do get better. But y'all give me your thoughts on harsher crimes. You know, should they stay longer? What should what should that consequence be? You know, so but let's check this out. Always interesting to see. This luxury prison in Norway is recommended to watch with caution because it will refresh your perception of the prison. Here, correctional officers and prisoners become good friends and even family. When the prisoners serve their sentences, the guards chat and play oh, cards yeah. with them. When the prisoners are released, the officers say goodbye with tears in their eyes. They got a lot of stuff. Felons go to prison and live a life of luxury instead. This is the Holden, a prison comparable to a five-star hotel inside. Wow. <laughs> when Holden opened, it attracted attention globally for its design and its relative splendor. Set in a forest, the prison blocks are a model of minimalist chic. It has 4,500 acres of garden. Dang. Equipped with a church, hospital, library, gym, soccer field, recreation room and recording studio. Since it opened 12 years ago, at a cost of 200 million US dollars, oh. it has acquired a reputation as the world's most humane prison. A prisoner must go through the following three steps to be admitted to this prison. The first step is to take a special car to drive through the scenic road and pass through two iron mm -hmm. gates to reach the prison. In the second step, the correctional officers who meet for the first time shake hands with the inmates as if they were VIPs wow. and uncuff them at the first opportunity. In the third step, the prisoner must be naked Whoa. to accept the examination. After this, the guards will take the prisoner to his private cell. It is said to be a cell, but it is more like a hotel suite. <laughs> he committed a crime and he amazed. He's like, wait, what is this? He looked very surprised at what he's seeing it right said now. To be That's a cell, wild. But it is more like a hotel suite. Every Holden cell has a flat screen television, its own toilet and a shower. Prisoners have their own fridges, Fridge. cupboards and desks in bright new pine, white magnetic pinboards. Toilet like and shower are absolutely private. Do not worry about the consequences of dropping the soap <laughs> in the public shower of the prison. It is... I kid you not. That was like in every pri American prison movie. Don't drop the soap. Don't drop the soap. I remember being younger. I was like, I cannot drop the soap even if I'm in the restroom by Worth myself. I don't want to drop it. Local designers specially designed the room for the layout and furniture. In order to make the inmates feel comfortable, the room is specially installed with huge, unbarred windows overlooking mossy forest scenery. A key feature of the Norwegian scenery. sentencing system is it has no life sentences and stipulates a maximum term of 21 years, regardless of how many crimes the prisoner has committed. Mm. In addition to longer prison sentences, murderers are treated exactly the same as other thieves and thieves. This man was sentenced to 17 years. Okay, I remember that guy. I did do that video because somebody recommended that one again. But I seen that off. I did this a while back. The same back. as other thieves and thieves. Maybe this a year man ago. was sentenced to 17 years for murder. But looking at him sitting on the sofa and the correctional officers talking calmly, people thought he was a visit to the prison to inspect and guide the work of the prison. Wow. Then look at this handsome man in a casual dress in the corridor wandering. You think he may be a staff member, but he is also a murderer. So I'm guessing this guy right here in a gray sweater, maybe he was doing like experiments. I don't know if he was actually, is he actually a criminal or not? This looks like he came in and 
doing like a little project type of thing. You think he may be a staff member, but he is also a murderer. At Halden, there are 340 staff members, including teachers and healthcare workers, to the 245 male inmates. To keep inmates from feeling pressured, the guards are generally unarmed. Moreover, more than half are good-looking female guards because the prison <laughs> fears that male guards could feel oppressive to inmates. Every ten inmates share a living room and kitchen, and the living room is equipped with a jogging mm -hmm. track and speakers. Prisoners can communicate as they wish, have coffee parties or listen to music. Not a coffee party. Not only will the guards not interfere, but they will also even participate. Staff are encouraged to mingle with inmates, talk to them, counsel them, working with them to combat their criminality. The prison That's governor role in Norway is unique. They are meant to be coach, motivator, a role model for the inmates. Mm -hmm. Does this cozy scene look like a family gathering for a holiday? Holden Prison. It would seem like it, but I know, I think to be one of these officers, I think the girl says she had to go through like pretty much like a four year type of, you know, almost a degree and type of thing. One meal daily for the four year school in the who have to cook the rest themselves. Ingredients can be purchased from the prison shop, which has a wide range stuff. of goods, basically the same as the shop outside the prison. Wow. As for money, they can earn it themselves. <laughs> it's almost like. It's like they got a grocery store. They got everything they need up in here. Outside that the prison. is man. As for money, they can earn it themselves. Prisoners are unlocked at 7.30 a.m. and locked up for the night at 8.30 p.m. Oh, During dang. the day, they are encouraged to attend work and educational activities with a daily payment of $7 for those who leave their cell. And that's a lot because I think... Prisoners in the U. I I think they get like a dollar or two dollars type of thing if they work, do a certain job. The prison has several modern factories that offer jobs to inmates. It is dedicated to training them into heaps of socially useful people. For example, this burly man with a big smile on his face named Gasol, who was arrested for smuggling about one million dollars in drugs, oh is now God. a handy cleaner. And this helper in the kitchen, his name is Anthony Davis, and he's an American. Not AD. These hands that cooking eggs are used to play basketball. After losing the NBA election, he thought he would come to Norway to pursue his basketball dream. Still, he didn't expect to realize his basketball dream. He went to jail for rape first. Dang. After being locked up for five years, he has learned superb cooking skills. The uncle, called Kid, AD. killed a drug dealer who stole his business, and now the prodigal son is returning to prison to study hard. Wake up a cup wow. of coffee every morning to refresh his brain, and then pack up the school bag to go to the electrician class. After several years of study, he is now skilled as an wow. electricity theft in India. The most fort He is now skilled at electricity theft in what the what? So he didn't study. win and he got is now a new skill as an electricity theft in India. The most fortunate to belong to this young man, young but has more than 30 charges of theft, robbery, oh murder, etc., has become a regular visitor to various prisons. He served his sentence in other prisons and was recently transferred to Halden. His quality of life soared as if he had moved from the slums into a mansion. It looks as if all these Same criminals like have become model citizens when they enter this prison. However, what if there are inmates who do not want to study or work? It doesn't matter, the prison respects the choice of these prisoners, mm. they can sleep, watch TV, or play games. The prisoners can also go to the recreation room, which has a recording studio, guitar, Criminal piano, records, that's drums, and other musical instruments all available. Inmates can come here to explore their artistic selves, and there are even professional teachers to do art wow. tutoring twice a week. Okay, I remember now. Criminal records, that's what it was called. But hey, that is... That is, yeah, this would be... I mean, I would think that you would have to show a lot of improvement to be able to get transferred here. The prison's philosophy In is general. that if inmates are treated like animals, they will become animals. Mm -hmm. Conversely, if prisoners are given respect and care, they will become law-abiding. Therefore, the guards were encouraged to become friends with the inmates, chatting and playing cards during the week, saying good night to each other before going to bed, and saying goodbye when leaving prison became the norm in Holden. 
of course, to thoroughly reform prisoners from the mind, rather than beat them into submission, the prison has very high requirements for correctional officers. Even in the face of disruptive prisoners, the guards uphold the principle of win with virtue. Mm -hmm. After they are fully armed, they will be through the small window on the cell door, the prisoner to persuade bitterly. If unable to convince the prisoner, they will storm oh, the cell yeah. to subdue the prisoner. In order to avoid rude arrests on the psychological impact on other prisoners in the surrounding area, the prison has also humanely established an underground passage system, through Dang. which prisoners can be quietly locked up in a separate room. If the prisoner is still not calm when he arrives, the guards will tie him to a small bed and oh, make dang. him immobile. This is the most severe punishment that can be used in Holden Prison. I feel like if you get to that point, you must not know where you at. Your whole life in the change. But this yeah, torture has only been used once in the prison's 12 years of history. After all, oh, wow. in such a humane prison, most inmates feel psychologically comfortable and not too impulsive. With such a humane management system, the recidivism rate of prisoners released from Halden is indeed the lowest in the world. 30 years mm. ago, the recidivism rate in Norway was 70%, and now it is only 20%. However, the regime is expensive, approximately $380 per person a day, compared with around $250 at the more basic, older Norwegian institutions, such as the Oslo prison where inmates are often locked up for 23 out of 24 hours. Dang! A year in Holden costs the state around $120,000 per prisoner. <laughs> Assuming a prisoner spends 10 years in prison and then goes back out and commits a crime, it amounts to $1.2 million for nothing. Dang! As a result, a Holden prison's management methods have been controversial, with many feeling that the government should spend the money on improving the quality of life for the general population mm -hmm. rather than wasting it on these criminals. In the face of these challenges, the administrators insist that the prison is a place to reform the minds of inmates, not a place for them to suffer. Going to prison sure. is already a loss of personal freedom, which is a punishment. By having a better life in prison, the inmates will have a better sense of social identity and be a general public again after they are released. This principle may sound correct, but it seems Man. puzzling, even objectionable, that inmates who go to prison are better off than some of the general population. That's what it seems like, for sure. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. That is for sure, yeah. Uh, hold on, yeah, I remember the guy. I think I did that video a year ago, though. But, yeah, I. that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And but it's also bring a lot of opportunities for them to, you know, for people to really change their life, get the help they need. But it makes sense, though. It makes sense to do that for them. But I, it, then you kind of look at the general population, too, is like they deserve this, too. You know, so I can see why it will kind of be some people for it, some people not for it type of thing. But all in all, yeah, this is. This doesn't, this is way above, way above how prison work in the U.S. Um, pretty much have everything. Like you said, you wouldn't uh, expect those certain people to be murderers and stuff or, you know, doing what the crimes they committed with where they're at. But I'm sure it takes a process for them to probably get to this type of prison. A lot of mentally process, you know, mental work and showing improvement and change. But that's all I have. Appreciate the recommendation. Uh, Autumn Prison in Norway. The most luxurious, the most humane prison in the world, it seems. But that's all I have. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.